<laughs> no, I'll tell you again. I'll tell you again. This is day nine, this is video two uh, of our Fringe Adventure. And if you've not been here before, I'm Ian, this is Jane. Hi. And we're doing reviews, stroke vlogs, of the experience of being at Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Now, if you've not been here before, all of the other videos that we've done, and this is video 21, uh, are linked down below so you can start a video one and work upwards. I'm going to read the director's notes that were... So Should we explain what happened there? Yeah, we are actually we're, in an area yeah. where the disabled toilet so is. And, <laughs> so we, we um, may be getting... It's usually quite a quiet space, but I think a production has just finished, which is what I was slightly worried about, because obviously there's a lot of people who have just come off out of um, watching a production, and obviously they come to this building to use the facilities. Um, so, but we will continue, but we, might, try. Have, we, but might, we have, might have to stop. We might have to stop and read and film a bit. I will read some of the director's notes. We have all forced a smile for the camera, but how much of a double life can you get away with today on social media? Faking a moment or a lifestyle is easy in today's world. People only post what they want other people to see. Social media can be described as a highlight reel, an exciting life with all of the boring bits left out. It is so important to know that your worth is not determined by how many followers you have or how many likes you receive on a photograph. This new world online is distorted, everything is filtered. An online community initially created as means of meeting people and making new friends finds itself becoming increasingly isolating. As a director of such a controversial conversation, it was imperative to me that this issue was handled with care. I really wanted to hone in on my own experience with social media and explore its pros and cons. And that is written by Grace Baker, who is the director of Smile Like You're Happy. Smile Like You're Happy is a new play by Blue McElroy. Um, and we have Kate, uh, Kate's alter ego, or Kate M as she is in the director's notes, Patrick and his brother Graham. Ladies and gents, smile like you're happy. Look at you! What does it matter? There is no one here to see me except... There is no one here to see me. Exactly. Would you think he wouldn't have left if you weren't a smithering idiot? Please. I've been trying to build you up, trying to be supportive. I do not know what else I can do. You know, I used to think that we could do so much better, that you could do so much better than that. Please. But you can't even keep patty. You just sit there crying, feeling sorry for yourself. I just, you never listen, do you? Don't be the sort of person to lie there and take a look at you. Would you just leave me alone? Where would you be if I did? Without me, you'd be lost. I just want to be alone. No. No time for a sulk. Get up. Go on, get!
Are you okay? I'm fine. Why are you on the floor? I told you to get up. Uh, what? Nothing. She's always wallowed if you let her. She just sit here doing nothing while I work myself to the bone. No, I was just. I'm going to show your followers what you do all day. No. And uh, the play takes us through uh, Kate's rise. Uh, of using social media from almost nothing to getting Graham to help her develop um, videos online. Uh, at at this early, in the early point, Patrick has already got a quite substantial following uh, online, and I don't want to give too much of the actual plot to it. No, it's but, it's, but it's his idea. It's he, his idea. He yeah. wants um, Kate to do. Um, an online blog. Yeah. And Kate's alter ego, KM, is very sort of vivacious and confident. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it could be viewed as an inner voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I tuned into that. I, I, initially, I thought she was somebody in the house. Um, but then obviously I thought we were meant to think that I, for the I first few minutes, but literally yeah. within five minutes you've worked out that the only person she's really interacting with is Kate. Mm. Um, she doesn't interact with the two boys. Mm. Um, so I don't think we're giving a, a plot spoiler there, are we? No, because it's um, it's, it's there from the beginning. Yeah. It, it's, it, yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's pretty instant that it's not like it's a plot development that happens sort of half an hour into no. the play. We're not giving you the end anyway. Um, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I thought it was excellently done. Excellently done? Yeah. Brilliantly done. Yeah. Could be excellently done. Good out. Um, um, yeah. It was it, it it had a momentum to it. Um does it give to? Mm, I don't think it gives anything away in that it sort of gets out of control. Um, but I think more importantly, it deals quite effectively with the issues of today's social media, how it can affect somebody, mm. um, to what extent. And you, you hear these stories of people on social media, these influencers. Um, having to, you know, a first of all, it's not a job. It's you do it for fun, but then it becomes a job, mm -hmm. and it becomes uh, all encompassing to some extent. Mm -hmm. Like you, you have to upload content. Uh, and I mean, I have to say, I've had that sort of feeling to some extent. I, I feel sometimes feel the pressure of having to put up weekly videos. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't missed. I haven't missed a weekly video since I probably started this three years ago. So every week there's at least one video going up, usually on a Monday or a Tuesday, and that is my that is my schedule. The the schedule at the Edinburgh Fringe of doing every show is is completely different. But you do under normal daily circumstances, you do. I understand how these people feel the pressure, mm -hmm. and especially once brands get involved. You know, I, we have, I have dealt with some brands, currently we've been doing some work with COG, the synthesizer manufacturer, and felt additional pressure to produce content for them. The play illustrates very well how um, this, the influencer role, um, it, it becomes um, a bit of a roller coaster. Mm. It, and you can see how easily it can then become a job. And as Ian said, the pressure to actually produce content um, because that's what's expected of you. And obviously it's how you feel prepared to deal with that. And this is where this production dealt with mental health issues mm. as well. Um, very sensitively, I felt, um, it very sensibly didn't sort of try and give a lecture about mental health, but I think it 
it effectively showed the effects on an individual mm. um, and how it can become all-consuming. All you begin to doubt your um, own decisions um, and how, and that, that's another main theme yeah. that it, and, and that came in to this was the control of one person upon another. Mm. That's a separate issue to the social um, media. Um, and that, again, is, I mean, I have to say, at, at sometimes the, the dialogue, there was an element of gaslighting, um, which is that, it, it's a term that is used for somebody um, psychologically controlling somebody, yeah. um, undermining their confidence, um, putting seeds of doubt in their mind about issues. And I felt that that, um, and then also, but also the, the issue of domestic abuse yes, came into yeah, it as well. Yeah. Um, and again, I mean, you know, they, I think it made you want to go away. I mean, it, people who maybe don't know much about those issues to go away and, and have a look at them. Um, because it, it, yeah, it, it raised a lot of um, areas where there are big problems. I mean, and there is this, this, in all people on social media uh, and the internet, and to some extent, we've been doing this as well. The, you, you are, you know, you, you're constantly looking to see how many people have seen your video or your a like if it's Instagram uh, and you're like, so or you know a heart and they covered all of that stuff right the way through didn't they so Kate would post a new video and then you know we would get like heart that sort of thing so there is this constant need to know that people mm. like your content um, and it's, it is quite difficult and that, that that's where the mental health thing comes into it to some extent isn't it because you know when your content isn't deemed to be that good and you start to get negative comments because they come and they they, they 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 covered some of that mm. um, but i mean i've read articles where um people who've got big social media accounts mm. every day it matters to them how many people have liked their posts yeah and, and it becomes all consuming um, and I think this piece really highlighted that. It did, yeah. Um, and and I thought the the four actors, the characters they played, you know, were, were very strong. Yeah. I thought the script was very good. I agree. Um, yeah. And I think it was almost a starting point um, to follow those themes on. Yeah. Yeah. further because they they didn't set out to answer the questions um i think they highlighted what is around today yeah um, and what it's like today um yeah and, and that, that certainly resonated and, and, I, and me. I think they did that very well i mean well. I, you know it resonated with me because i've been doing this for a few years now it's worth mentioning that jane doesn't do social media that's maybe hard to believe but, because I do this. Yeah. So, but this is all I do, and but, this is only the second time that I've done it. Yeah. So Jane doesn't do Facebook, doesn't do Twitter. No. Um, so, so I mean, so which seems a little odd. Um, but I I do this because I was asked to do it because two years ago it was suggested. I got involved because that's what we do when mm. we've been to see a production. We talk about we it. We talk about so, it. So we do. I mean, um, and that's because, we did that anyway. And because, you know. as you all know, we have a great passion about the arts. Yeah. And that's why I do it. But this is the only thing I do. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. So anything else about it? I mean, I just. Well, I. Hopefully, we've. We give you, you know, a taste we, of what yeah, it's what we um, think well what we think about it and what it's yeah, like. Yeah. Um, I think it's an excellent piece of work. Uh, for me, it gets four stars. Yeah. 
Four and four stars for you, and that's a good solid four star very, very solid. piece. Um, I'm, and actually, I'm, I'm so glad we were, we got to see it. Really, mm -hmm. I mean, I did pick this out as one of the pieces, one of the pieces to see before we left Yorkshire, um, and I'm glad we were able to see it. Mm -hmm. And we could have left this review um, and done it a couple of hours. Well, in fact, it would have been two or three hours later. Yeah. But we've literally, we came out and we both felt very strongly we wanted because we had all these... Yeah, all these ideas of, things going on here. Going right? sort of so we've come to the corridor with the loo. <laughs> yes, so oh. apologies. I'll try and cut some of that stuff out. Yeah, but um, uh, that we are at the bottom of a stair. Well. <laughs> in, in a very small we, area. We can show you the stairwell. There's the stairwell. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Hello. Sorry. It's fine. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what we do, hit the subscribe button and all that usual stuff. Uh, the next review will be, uh, we're doing Qigong in a couple of hours time. Yeah, uh, Tai Chi and uh, Qigong. And Qigong, yeah. So thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Cheers now, bye bye. Bye.